Between healing Abi Yahweh and soothing Abi Yahweh, we comfort him. We just thank you, Abi Yahweh, oh, Father, for her, Abi Yahweh. We thank you, Abi Yahweh, for elect mother. We ask you to give her wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of that word and that truth, Abi Yahweh, and continue to help her to obey all that mystery statutes to man. We thank you for Sister Hattie being here, Abi Yahweh. We ask you to heal her, strengthen her, Abi Yahweh, save and deliver, Abi Yahweh. I ask that you continue to strengthen me, I'll be our way. Yes, yes Lord. I ask you to strengthen wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of thy yes, word and thy yes. truth, I'll be our way. We ask, thank you, I'll be our way for the viewers that will view us later on, I'll be our way. We pray for them, I'll be our way. You know, to me. we ask you to meet their needs, I'll be our way. Yes. And give them understanding of the truth, I'll be our way, of your word. Help us, Lord, please. In the name of Yeshua, in the Kadash name of Yeshua, how I'm going to say it. We do say amen. 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 Well, you may ask, well, you know, say, but by every word that comes out of the mouth, we sure how to say it, that, you know, we must have it. Amen. So that we might live and what and not die. Okay. Amen. And that's found in Matthew, Matthew Yahoo 4 and 4. Amen. And that's where Satan is trying to tempt. Be sure how I'm saying, you know, and 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 the Satan told him, Well, if you see these stones, turn to bread. And you sure told him, you sure how I'm saying told Satan, that man should not live by bread alone. Amen. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Udana. And see, we can't live by this bread alone. We got to live by the word. Yes. We got to live by the truth. Yes. And when he says by every word, that means each and everything, all is complete. All that was spoken, everything. We well, that's what we must live by. All the words that we, we read, all the words that we hear, that come from Yeshua HaMaseh, yes. what He tells us to do, these are the things that we must do. If we want to have life. Yes, and I don't know about anybody else, but say, I want life. Amen. I want life with Yeshua HaMaseh. Yes. I do not want to go to that burning hell. Amen. That burning hell is not for me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. And so uh, we're going to start off here, though, in Exodus 20 and 1. Yes, Lord. Because we want to understand what we say by every word. It says, mm -hmm. and Elohim, and Elohim is who? It's the Lord. It's Yeshua, how we say it. It's, it's Adonai. Amen. This is who we're talking about when it says, and Elohim. Spoke all these words, saying, Yes, I am Yahweh, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mesoraim, which is Egypt, and out of the house of slavery. He said, I'm the one that did this. I am your master. I am your creator. I am your Elohim. I am the I am. I'm the one that did all of these things for you. See, I brought you out of the land of Egypt. I brought you out of the slavery. Amen. I'm the one that made you. Yes. You're the one that is uh, supposed to obey me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, You have no other mighty ones against my face. And you do not make for yourself a covered image or any likeness of that which is in the Shamalayan above, or which is in the earth beneath, or which is in the waters under the earth. He's letting us know what not to make. He said, don't make any graven images. Don't go there to figure, try to figure out what, who he's like, what he looks like, and try to carve an image, make something, a statue. A pain. 
or anything. Do not and go up there and worship it and say that it's in him. Because he's saying you're telling a lie. Amen. Because it's not him. Hallelujah. He's not no statue. He's not a, an idol. He's not on a, on a, 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 a cross. Hallelujah. And picture the image of some other man that they're putting up there on a the cross. And you go up there and you worship him. Saying that that's Yeshua Hamasai. He says you're a liar. Mm -hmm. A devil. You're demonic. Yeah. Yes. You're wicked. Just don't make any. Mm -hmm. But you other people, you see people making them anyway. Yeah. And going up there worshiping, and then got the half the church is fooled. Fooled. And they worshiping. And calling that image. Yeah, you sure how much they don't have. See. But see, people don't want to go by what the scriptures say. Mm -mm. They don't want to go by what the word. They don't want to live by every word that comes out of the mouth. You sure uh -huh. how I'm saying? But they want to go up there and do things their way. But they say the Pope says it's all right, but the Pope is a liar. The Pope is a thief. The Pope is a demon. And any preacher, pastor, bishop, apostle, and to go up there and tell you it's all right to go up there and worship these things and have them on your houses and hang and go up there and worship and praise them, they're telling you a lie. They're a liar themselves. Amen. Amen. You say, well, y'all had it one time. Y'all had a picture and stuff like that. But, and we did. And when we, you know, but when we, when we, we already knew what the truth was, but we finally realized, well, we're, we're doing the same thing. But That's we right. have to change with your pen and get it right. That's right. Amen. 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 And to get it right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we got to live by every word that comes out of the mouth of Yeshua Hamasai. Yes. We got to live in truth. We got we to gotta bear witness. Yes, sir. Amen. Truth. See, it don't make any difference what we say. It is what the Torah says. Yes. What Yeshua Hamasai says. What Adana says. Yes. This is the word that we must obey. Lord. This is the truth that we must walk in. Mm -hmm. I don't care. If I be a liar, I better repent of that lie and get it right. Amen. Don't do it no more. Amen. Stop lying. If I'm not doing it right, then I'm a liar. And I know to do what is right. Come on. I better get it right. Amen. Now it is if I truly want to make it in to the kingdom of Yeshua sure Hamasai, I better get it right. Yes, sir. Amen. Because he's not going to... He's not going to forgive me. He said, well, you knew to do right. Why did you say, you knew to do what was right. Why you didn't? Why, did, why you didn't do it? Too late. Huh? I'll be too late. Thank you, I'll be out with He says, number five, mm -hmm. you do not bow down to them nor serve them. But I, Yahweh, your Elohim, am a jealous El. And the jealous Lord, God, visiting the wickedness of the fathers of the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because I'm, I'm angry. I'm a jealous God. Mm -hmm. I said I'll bring wickedness down to the third and fourth generation of your people. Curse. In other words, that's right. They're cursed. They will be cursed. Mm -hmm. Wishing the others. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Worshiping the idol. And see, a lot of times we were looking at our families and, and want to understand how come our families are cursed and stuff like that. How come the generational curses occurring in our families? How come there's so much whoredom in our families and stuff yeah, like that? Not. Because what? The curses. We're not paying attention to the words. We're not paying attention to what Yeshua Hamasai is saying to us. Where you demons came from. Yeah. And the demons just multiply mm -hmm. in our families. Yes, sir. Amen. Because nobody wants to take a stand mm -hmm. and live the word. They don't want to live the truth by what is being spoken of. They love evil. They love it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
and see. Yeah, we read. We yeah, we will go up there. We'll read the commandments on Friday night, but we don't pay attention to them. Gotcha. We don't pay attention to the ten words. We act like we don't know what it means, but we better start knowing what it means, and we better start living, and we better start doing it. Amen. So true. Amen. Just don't call them after living. See. It said in the third and fourth generation of those that hate me in those generations. Mm -hmm. You know. You hate the word. You hate the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can see it. You see. I'll come against those that wickedness of those that hate me. And it says you hate me and you don't want to obey me when you don't want to do the things that I tell you to do. That's it. Amen. When you don't want to live a Kadash life. Amen. When you want to remain liars, thieves, whoremongers, mm -hmm. homosexuals. That's, that's when word. you want to come against the word. When you want to come against the truth. Thank you, Abiyahweh. That's the word. He said number six. But mm -hmm. showing kindness to thousands, to those who love me and guard my commandments. He said, but I show kindness to thousands of those that who, who love me mm -hmm. and who take my commandments, but not who put the commandments in our hearts. Yes. And they would live them and obey them and teach others to do such. Yes. And let others know what is a lie and then showing others what is truth by being what? A doer of the truth. And not participating in the lies. That's right. Coming against sin, coming against wickedness. That's right. He says, I love you. Yes. Amen. He said, I love you. Amen. Amen. Yes, he will. See, love, he said, love is what, what we do. Yes. Love is what we show. Action. The yes. action part of it. That's exactly Glory. right. Glory is our very That's so. Amen. We get to do. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, I'll be that way. He says, number seven, you do not bring the name of Yahweh, your Elohim, to naught. Uh -uh. For Yahweh does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to naught. My God. Uh huh. See. Well, Using his name in vain. Huh? Just throwing his name out any kind of way, use his name any kind of way. He says, I'm against that. Amen. Amen. He says, I'm not going to leave you unpunished. That's the word. Amen. Amen. Because my name doesn't mean anything to you. I'm not going to let you go well, get away with that. Because he says, my name means something. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. There's power in my name. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. You shall and you will respect my name. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you should. You just don't come out of our mouth any old way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just don't speak anything about my name in any old kind of way. So you will hold my name in high esteem, high yeah, regard. Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, being so good to me. I thank you. Amen. Yes. He says, you won't go unpunished by bringing his name to not. Mm -hmm. Not showing respect to his name. Hallelujah. He says, Number eight, remember the Shabbat, the, the Sabbath day. To what? Kadashit, to make it holy, in other words. Mm -hmm. To the purify Shabbat, it. The Shabbat. Six days you labor and shall do all your work. But the seventh day is a Shabbat of Yahweh, your Elohim. You do not do any work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, 
nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. Amen. In other words, you make it kadash. Mm -hmm. All our work has been completed. Mm -hmm. All that's not completed, let it leave it undone. Amen. It's just not going to get completed. Six days. Amen. 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 You know, we were sorry that we couldn't make a half service last night, yesterday evening. I mean, well, today, this evening, this past evening, this evening, which was the beginning of the Shabbat. But it could not be helped, amen, because now even though we finished our appointment, we still had to get back on the road and come back home. Amen. 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 Yes. But we didn't do any work. Mm -hmm. We tried to do as much work as we probably could before we left out. Amen. And get everything done and completed and all that was not completed and done. Well that was just it. It was not it was not done. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And we have been getting behind lately. So we've been having appointments after appointments after appointments after appointments. You know, almost every day of the week we had appointments. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they put us behind on our other work. Amen. 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 This, this only me and her that could do any work around here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We take care of the, the house of Yeshua HaMasei. We're not getting no help in cleaning up the house of Yeshua HaMasei. Amen. 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 We're taking care of the things here. Amen. Amen. Because you gotta have a love to come in and clean Yeshua's house. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Amen. You sure don't want this house just cleaned by anybody just to be coming in and doing something. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. People that don't love him, you don't want you don't want that to happen. No, no, we don't. Amen. If you don't love you should, you should, I don't I don't want you touching my things, my, my Kadash things. Amen. 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 You bring a you bring a greater punishment on yourself by doing such a thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now in your heart. Jesus. So your heart is not right. If your heart is not right. You ain't gonna do it right. The people who love say, I love you, you sure. But the love is in the action and the things that we do. Amen. 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 Yeah. We came here, got, got up this morning, we said, well, we got to clean up the, uh, the porch the and stuff like that, you know, and, I, and she said, I got, and so we came, uh, when we went to open up the gate and came back, uh, you know, it was about 5.30 five, five this morning, yeah. about 5.30, 6 o'clock this morning. Come on there. And say, well, we got to clean off this porch and stuff like that. And, and, and so I saw fire all out there with some more bugs. And I said, well, you go ahead and take care of the inside, and I'll do the outside. Mm -hmm. You know. You get stuff done. Amen. Full of power. See, the things should be done for you, sure. House. Mm -hmm. you gotta be, then you got to prepare a meal for the house. Amen. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta seek the Lord. You gotta seek, you gotta seek the Jedi. Mm -hmm. To get, a, to get, a, to get a meal. What do you want us to say? What do you want us to prepare, Lord? How you want us to be ready? Amen. See, you got there, there, there's time that you gotta spend with Yeshua. Sure, Show me, show me, show And you got one spend time with Yeshua. Hallelujah. I thank you. I thank you. Glory. Amen. He says, don't nobody do any work here. You know, on the Shabbat. No survival work. And see, they would try to say that a lot of people are saying, well, if you have services, you have church that you're doing work. No, you're not. 
Well, you do, we're doing the work with God. It says that it's all right. This it's type of work, it, it's a kadash work that He's doing, that we're doing for sure. And so it's all right. It's kadash. Yes. We're going to use the word kadash. We know what it means. We get the understanding of it. Amen. Amen. We speak in terms that that Yeshua wants us to speak in. Yes. Thank you, I'll be away. He says, number 11, for in six days, this is the reason why we do this. He says, for in six days, Yahweh made the Shamalan and the earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore, Yahweh Barak, the Shabbat, and Kadash did. See, who did this? Yahweh. Yahweh did it. Mm -hmm. Elohim, our Lord, our Savior, He yes. did this. He made this day. Hallelujah. He blessed this day. Yes. Amen. <coughs> he the one that separated for himself. Yes, yes. And people go up there and tell you, you just call God did it for himself. You don't do it. I heard Geno Jennings go up there and say that. Mm -hmm. You say, you know, no, uh-uh. He separated for himself. You don't have to do it. But Yahweh is telling us to do it. Yes, he did. To live. Amen. To obey these commandments. To yes. obey these statutes. You can go against this word all that you want. You can go up there and you know, because you're an elegant speaker and you can go up there and think that you can bully words upon people, but you're leading people into a lie when you say do not keep the Sabbath. Uh-huh. Astray. You lead them into astray. You lead them straight into hell. When you tell them not to obey the commandments, to obey the voice of Yeshua Hamasai. See blood. That's right, blood is on your hands. No. You can't go up there and know this. You don't call this Sunday a Sabbath because it's not. The first day of the week is not a Sabbath. It's a day. See. Anything. You know, he has made a special request. It's not a special request. He's made it a commandment. Mm -hmm. He has commanded it. He has told us a command. He has told us. He has ordered us. Yes, he did. Forever, perpetual. He has ordered us to keep this day. Yes. Kadash unto him. In other words, holy, holy. Unto, unto him. Yes, so holy. See, he has told us what it takes to make it into his kingdom. Now, if you want to do it any other kind of way, and other than what Torah says, then you'll be wrong. Amen. And you shall not enter into the kingdom. Amen. You shall not enter into the Shamalans with Adonai. Amen. He says, every word, Amen. by every word, and that includes the seven day Sabbath. Amen. Hallelujah. He told us, six days he labored. Mm -hmm. Six days he did all his work. Yes, likewise. And we've got to do just as he does. Yes. He's given us an example. Now this is a road written by his fingers. Yes. Now if you say that you don't have to do it even though you know that he wrote it with his fingers, you better go back and start asking questions then why you don't have to do it. Where is it that it, that it says that I don't have to go obey the seven day Sabbath? Yes. And he better show you by scripture, by the words that come out of the mouth of Yeshua, how he says, where he says that, hey, you don't have to keep the seven day Sabbath. They can't do it. Amen. They can't do it. Amen. It's impossible for them to do yes. it because it's not here. And you get mad and upset, I don't care what the Pope tell you, I don't care what Geno Jennings, T.D. Jakes, uh, Joyce Myers, Joel Osteen, or any of those fools say. Amen. Amen. 
He said, well, well, they got millions and millions of followers. They got millions and millions of blood on their hands. Show ya. Many, they got many people going into that burning pit and going into that hell. Hallelujah. Because they're lying doubles. They're demonic. Amen. Anybody that wants to go against Torah, go against this word, it's demonic. Amen. If I go against this word, then I have become what? Demonic. It's the truth. This word is not going to change for normal. Show light. Carry either. Or anybody else. Amen. Now, normal better change for the word and obey the word. That's, That's what normal it. better do. Amen. We all and everybody else needs to do the same thing. If you want to make it in. If you don't want to go through that burning hell, then you're going to have to obey the Torah. You're going to have to obey the words of the Yay! Have mercy. Thank you, Abby, Abby. Number 12. Respect your father and your mother. So that your days are prolonged upon the land which Yahweh, your Elohim, is giving you. He says, respect your father. Amen. And respect your mother. And with the word. In other words, hold him in esteem. Amen. Be obedient to him. Amen. Love. Amen. Do for him. Amen. 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 You see, you ever find these people now, you find children who don't want to obey their parents. Mm -hmm. And you find that they're in a generation of curses. Amen. Because then they find their children don't want to obey them. Amen. Hmm. They follow the people, generation curses. So people sitting up there doing all these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Want to know what's going on. Well, you brought a curse upon yourself because you don't want to lead your families into the uh, word of Yeshua HaMaseh, into the words of Adonai. You don't want to live the life before them. You don't want to, you want to curse your parents. You want to curse your mother. You want to curse your father. No way. You, want, you don't want to help them. You look at them working. You standing up there on your tail laughing at them. You won't do things correct. You won't do things... Uh, uh, in a Kadash way. Ashamed. See? Amen. Amen. That's that's a shame. Yeah. Amen. That's unholy. That's unrighteous. Yes. Wicked. Don't don't go around saying that you love Abba Yahweh. Don't go around saying that you love Yeshua Homo say and you have not respect for your parent. Amen. Because you're a liar. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because you're alive. Amen. The truth is not in you. Amen. 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 Yes. See, it's an evil generation, an evil people out yes, here these days. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. People want to look like they could die. Mm -hmm. They want to dress like they could die. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to be Kadash. And nor can they be Kadash when you're walking in evil and walking in wickedness. They stoop with it. Amen. Amen. They don't have no love for Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Amen. They try to pretend like they got a love for Yeshua. Yeah. But the devil expo you know, will, will expose, be exposed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Abiyah. Hallelujah. Because you're not showing respect. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, So your days are prolonged upon the land. He says, Show your respect if you want your days to be prolonged. And you think about these 60, 70 years, but you thought you better talk thinking about the thousands and thousands of years of eternity. In that burning hell. Amen. I'm talking about spending eternity with Yeshua Hamasai. You mm -hmm. see, for your days will be prolonged. Amen. For you'll have a long life. Yeah. You see, the only way we can have a long life, that is what you sure how I'm going to say. That's it now. Uh, 80 years is not a long life. Mm 
Ninety years is not a long life. Eternal. We're talking about having eternal life, eternity, spend eternity with the Lord. Forever. Because people, you get people say, well, I, I disrespected my mama, I was disrespected by daddy, and I, I, hey, I'm, I'm 70 years of age, I'm 80 years of age, and I did it. Yeah, and they think they had a long life. That's not the long that's life. That's not the life he's talking about. Eternal. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, you get 100. Mm-hmm. And older. But they ain't making it to the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. We look at the long life. Yes, sir. Amen. Thirteen, you do not murder. Okay, you murder. When you say we, we know the word of Yeshua Hamas said, we know these commandments, we know these statutes, and yet we don't live them. And we're going out before other people and saying, hey, you don't have to obey these words. We're killing people. See, a lot of times you want to think that you're killing people with a gun or with a knife or with your bare hands or however you think that you can kill a person or poison them. them. But you're killing people when we don't live this life. Mm -hmm. When we don't be an example of the word of the truth, I'm saying. When we go against it, mm -hmm. then we become murderers. Don't tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Man. When we're not telling the truth, you're murdering. You're murdering. We're murdering. Killer. Yes. Serious killer. Amen. Yeah, two to be killed two, you'll see a killer. Mm -hmm. It says, you do not commit adultery. You do not steal. Amen. We can't commit adultery and we can't steal. Amen. Amen. You commit adultery again when you do not obey this word. Because you, you sit up there obeying who? Satan. You don't switch corners. You don't switch partners. Self. See. You up there with somebody else, and other than Yeshua Hamasei, you were for another, you were for a mighty one instead of being with Yeshua Hamasei, instead of being with Elohim. You walking in evil, you walking in wickedness. You having a relationship with evil. You having a relationship with the devil. Amen. That's the word. They don't steal. You do not steal. Amen. So people go up there and they steal, they steal from the word, they steal from the truth, they steal from each other. Amen. The crime thing, you can't sit yourself down, you can't sit stuff down in your own home. And somebody come and steal it. Amen. 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 Thank you, I'll be our way. He says, you do not bear false witness against your neighbor. So you can't bear false witness against your neighbor. No, you can't lie against your neighbors. Can't do it. And you get mad when people don't tell the truth about you, and they express your name rightly. And they're talking about you, you want to get mad, but then you turn around and you start talking about somebody else. Mm -hmm. And we'll spread no lies on you. Huh? We'll speak the truth, no lie. If I say something about you and it works against you, I tell you, I'm mad enough to go there and tell you. I said that. I spoke to so whatever it is. Whether 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 it be uh, good or whether it be bad. If I spoke it, then I'll let you know that I spoke it. I said it. That's right. It' gonna be the truth, though. When I Amen. It. it' gonna be the truth when I say it. Amen. Yes, it' gonna be no lie. Come on, go there try to talk about somebody else. Be have a pie. So what somebody else can say. It better be some I don't see. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Something that I know for a fact. And you sure showed you. Amen. You sure show it to me that I'm going to speak it. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you tell me to speak it, I'm going to speak it. I know I will. Number 17. 17. Yes. You do not covet your neighbor's house, you do not covet your neighbor's wife. You, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, or whatever belongs to your neighbor. You don't cover all these things. No, no. Amen. Amen. You don't sit there and get all jealous and, 
and, you know, uh, covered it over them, you know, oh, I got had this, I kill them and get that and this and all this type of stuff, thinking evil of them. Oh, they don't deserve that. I deserve it more than they do and all this type of stuff. Put yourself in a frenzy over these materialistic things or anything whatsoever. That's stupid. Amen. Amen. Uh, don't be covetous. Mm-mm. Why? Because it's evil. It's a wickedness. It is wicked. Amen. Amen. And I want us to remember who wrote these things. I want you to look right back up there at 20 and 1 again. Who Elohim. spoke these things? Elohim. Huh? Elohim. And Elohim spoke these things. Amen. We had the Ten Commandments up here. And he says, and God speaks all these words, saying, and this is uh, in the King James Version of the Bible. Yes. But here, in the Hallelujah Scripture Bible, it says, and Elohim spake these things. Yes, he did. He spake all these yes. words. Oh, Lord God. Oh, yeah. Huh? Amen. He spoke for our good. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, he did. He spoke them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, he did. So that we would have a chance and have an opportunity at life and have Amen. it more abundantly. He spoke it. Oh, yes, he did. For me and you. Oh, yes, he did. To obey. Yes. Oh, and that we might do so what? Without excuse. Amen. Oh, yes, Amen. Amen. Oh, yes, I thank you, sure, how much said for the words that we had today. Amen. I thank you for the words that came from Apostle. Amen. Powerful, strong. Amen. Amen. Praise Him. If you want life, amen. You better, better not, hey, you better stop sinning. Hallelujah. We better stop sinning. We better stop walking in evil. We better Hallelujah. stop walking amen. in wickedness. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. I thank the Lord. Amen. Praise and praise. Hallelujah. It says, Get your sins, but under the blood. So you can live and not die. And not die. Hallelujah. Get yes. your sins Hallelujah. under the blood. In other words, repent. Mm-hmm. Of our sins, of our wickedness. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Glory. So live and not die. And not die. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. And we must live by every word Hallelujah. that comes out of the mouth Glory of Elohim. Yes, sir. It's been pure gospel. If Jesus Christ makes you out of the community, we invite you to attend services with us. We have services on Friday evenings at the beginning of the Shabbat at 6 p.m. and on Sabbath day, Saturday morning at 11 a.m. We're located 4935 U.S. Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. If you care to Write us. You may write us at Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ Messianic Community at P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama, 36461. There you want to be. That's the same address that you would write. If you want to send us a donation or if you want to uh, send an offering, or you just, like I said, just want to write us. That's at P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama. If you care to email us, you want to make contact and you want to email, you have questions, or you just want to speak to us through the email, or you can do such, you can write uh, Pastor Apostle Carrie uh, May Ghostin. Her email address is ghostin, Pastor Carrie at gmail.com. Again, that's ghostin, Pastor Carrie 
at gmail.com. You may write it there if you care to. Uh, you want to address me, you want to write me. I am Chief Apostle Norman Ghoston. My email address is jesusman at frontiernet.net. That's jesusman at frontiernet.net. If you care to uh, call us, you may call us at 251-593-3671 or 251-593-3671. We also invite you to uh, pray with us. We pray every evening at 6 and 9 p.m. We you know, we'll should pray. Uh, this designated time that was given to us by Yeshua Hamasaya to over 17 years ago to pray. And by and by, we've been getting great results through the prayer. Amen. Amen. So we ask that you continue in the prayers. Amen. Yes. Please do. Please pray. Join us in prayer. That's at 6 and 9 p.m. Now we pray throughout the day at other times, but those are the designated yes. times that we're given. So please join us in prayer at those times. We also want to have Bible study. We have family, somebody from the family. Head the family up in Bible study, the whole family come together and have Bible study. Amen. Together. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I'll be our way. Also, we were asked, we have the uh, PGJCM discount caskets and the PGJCM Green Burial, uh, Natural Green Burial Cemetery. Uh, so the phone numbers are. 251-593-8336. We're located at 4935 U.S. Highway 84. If you need a cash discounted prices, please give us a call. Uh, we'll try to help you out there and get a great price for you with the cash -in. And yes, it's, it's lawful, legal, brand new cash -in. Amen. Amen. And uh, Green Burial, you need to give us a call to make a range where we can teach you or show you how to make arrangements to uh, prepare your loved ones, amen, because you don't need a casket, you don't need to be embalmed, uh, nor do you need a, a burial vault. You know, saving thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Look, give us a call at 251-593-8336. We want to say shalom to you, that we love you. In the name of Yeshua, I'm going to say hopefully we'll see you prayerfully. We'll see you on Shabbat next week, on Friday evening at 6. Be real Be real In your hand, mother.